my dear students in this video we are going to learn components or structure of python program while writing a program we can use letters digits special symbols which are all displayed here and all the white spaces like blank space tabs carriage return and etc and also python can process all ascii and unicode characters as its data are constants so let us see the components of a python program comments statements keywords identifiers expressions functions blocks and indentation symbols i will explain all these using a simple program which is made for you i try to put all the components of the program in this small program this is a program which takes two numbers and then prints the greater number and also shows the difference okay you don't need to understand this program at all you just concentrate whatever i explain you try to understand it uh, in the beginning of the learning of any language you may not understand all the things which is been explained but later part when you are learning programming one by one you will understand it clearly so never worry if you don't understand few of the things in this simply i wanted to show you the output so i run this i enter a number 10 another number maybe 12 so it shows 12 is greater and then 2 is the difference between 10 and 12 okay now if you see many instructions are made together to make one simple program the instruction that computer language can execute are called statements for example this line prints this line evaluates and stores in d similarly any action is taken place then it is called a statement but it is not necessary that every statement results in a value now if you see the first line it starts with hashtag and then one line is given this is a reference line given by the programmer to understand that particular program or some other reference this is called comment a single line comment always starts with hashtag comment can also be given in the middle of the program after the code this is called inline comment these are not executable as a programming code so these both are comments in case a programmer needs to give reference using many lines he or she can use hashtag for every line in the beginning otherwise another option is there a triple quote can be given in the beginning and then where it ends again it end with triple quote this also can be a single quotes here it is double quote given it also can be a single quote but three times repeatedly given this is also called doc strings now in the second line if you see here a great is given and then here a and b is given here it is d and then here n1 n2 all these are names given by the programmer to a part of program or to indicate a variable these are called identifiers next if you see this brown colored text these are the words here df if else which gives a special meaning for that language these are called keywords there are around 35 keywords in python programming language next you can see here a is greater than b it evaluates something similarly a minus b evaluates something and then b minus a so the statement which evaluates something is called expression now again if you see about this second line here at last there is a 
colon. After that, the next line starts with some gap here. So, totally all these are sub part of this line. So, this is a block. The whole thing here it is written as block of statements under this second line. This is a function header. Similarly, you can also see there is a sub part again for third line, the fourth and fifth line together with some gap. Similarly, seven and eight line is sub part of this. So, all these three are blocks. Next, if you see the gap, this gap is a collection of four white spaces. This is called indentation. So, each block of code is given with indentation. If one more subpart is there, and then it will have two indents as given here. So, in the fifth line also it is having two indents. So, these two are a block of this line. So, now I think you understood what is block and what is indentation. If you see the second line, this is a function header. Function is a block of code which runs when it is called. Even if this here print is also a function, it runs when it is been called. This is predefined already in the Python program. Here this is created by user. Similarly, you can see int and input. See, input is also a function inside the other function called int. We will see elaborately about functions in future classes. This is just to know what are all the components. So, if you do not understand, even you do not need to worry about this. We have also used open bracket, comma, then close bracket, colon, all these. These are all symbols. These are the main components of a program. Now, let us revisit statements. Instructions that a computer language can execute are called statements. It is not necessary that a statement results in a value. Comments. Comments are text added to provide the reference about the program. There are three types. One is full line comment which starts with the hashtag and then inline comment which starts in the middle of the physical line. The triple quoted comments are multi comments or block comments we call it as. We also call it as doc string. Keywords. The words which convey a special meaning to the language. Identifiers. Name given by the programmer to identify any part of the program. See, I always used to say how you are identified. Anybody calls with your name, you are identified, right? So, simply you can remember this. Identifiers are name given by a programmer to identify any part of the program. Expressions. Combinations of constants, variables and operators that represent a value. So, these are always executed. Now, functions. Named collection of statements which completes a task. Blocks and indentation. A statement or group of statement which is part of another statement or function. Also called code block or suit. Blocks of codes are denoted by line indentation. One indent level is equal to four white spaces. Hope students you understood most of the things which I explained. Thank you.